Hi, I'm Debbie and I'm here at the Museum of London. It's right in the centre of the city and receives over 400,000 visitors a year. The museum tells a story of London through the ages. I've come to see an exhibition about life in 1914. In 1914, life was very different for British women. Most women didn't work. They usually married young, had children and looked after the house. This wasn't easy. Every morning, most women across the country had to get up early, build the fire and make the bread. All this before breakfast. If they did work, they usually worked as maids or in shops. Girls could go to school, but many left early and very few went to university. Life was very difficult for many women and they weren't able to change things easily because at that time they couldn't vote. But by 1914, some things were changing. Emmeline Pankhurst is one of history's most famous political activists. Her and her party, the Women's Social and Political Union, fought for women's right to vote. By 1914, these suffragettes, as they were called, had made women's rights a major political issue. But for many women, things hadn't changed. They still couldn't vote, and they had to stay at home and take care of the family. It was in the years after 1914 that real change came. And one of the greatest changes was the outbreak of the First World War. During the war, women worked in offices, factories and farms. When the war ended in 1918, this contribution couldn't be ignored, and some women were able to vote. But they could only do so if they were over 30 and met certain property criteria. It wasn't until 1928 that all women could vote. People like Emmeline Pankhurst have made it possible for women like me to make our own choices, such as finishing school, going to university and finding a job. Today, over 67% of women in Britain have jobs. There are still fewer women than men in the British workplace and fewer still in Parliament or on executive boards. But more women work today than ever before. The world has changed a lot since 1914. And for people like me, a lot of this change is thanks to the suffragettes.